gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right. NASCAR Cup Series, Toyota Save Mart 350 from Sonoma. First time we've been in Sonoma in two years. 217 miles, 90 laps, three stages of 20, 20, and 50. One of the original road courses on the NASCAR circuit. Uh, obviously, we all know Riverside was number one in Watkins Glen. And then when Riverside, they went to Sonoma. So Sonoma's been around since the mid-90s. Um, obviously, due to 2020, we weren't able to go there. We're back this year with some, with some fans. Now, if you look at the last two races at Sonoma, 2019, William Byron won stage one, Denny Hamlin won stage two, race was won by Martin Truex. Toyota was four of the top five. 2018, A.J. Allmendinger won the first stage, Denny Hamlin won the second stage, Martin Truex Jr. won the race. Truex, can he go for three for three for Sonoma? Now let's look at the road courses. The road courses are just something special. If you remember back in the day, Riverside was the only road course in Watkins Glen. A lot of drivers didn't worry about those two races. I'll do good in the other races, but we'll just not worry about those. Then as drivers realized how important it was, a lot of the drivers went to road racing school to get better. There was always a few drivers like a Ricky Rudd or Rusty Wallace that were the road course, not ringers, but elite. Um, Dale Earnhardt would kind of fit in that toward the late in his career. Um, now, you would probably say Chase Elliott's that kind of guy. So if we look at the road courses last year and this year, it's for, it's for those four. Logano, 4.0 average. Chase Elliott, 6.0, but three wins. Denny Hamlin, 8.5. Alex Bowman, 9.5. Eric Jones, 11.0. Kurt Busch, 12.2. Chris Buescher, 12.2. Now, if we just narrow that down to just Sonoma, Sonoma only the last three, so from 2017 on, Martin Truex has two wins, and then Kevin Harvick has the other win. Kevin Harvick has averaged a 3.0 finish, Kyle Busch a 4.0, Denny Hamlin 6.3, Kurt Busch 8.6, Brad Kozlowski 11.3, Alex Bowman 11.5, Martin Truex 13th. Obviously, to average a 13th, and with two wins, he had a really better race in 2017. Now, if you look at the road courses over the last several years, so look at the last 12 road courses. So this is going to be the Roval, Daytona, Watkins Glen, Sonoma, Coda. 12 races. Chase Elliott, six wins. 7.9 average finish. Denny Hamlin, 8.6. Alex Bowman, 9.5. Kurt Busch 9.0, 9.9, Martin Truex 3 wins, 10.1, Kevin Harvick 10.5, and Ryan Blaney 12.3. So with all that being said, my picks for Sonoma, Save Mart 350. Gotta go over boy Chase Elliott, cannot not do Chase Elliott. I mean, how do you not go with Martin Truex Jr., 2 wins, 2 in a row? And Denny Hamlin, look what he's done on the road courses. Um, look at Kevin Harvey, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of torn there, you know? So Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvey, Denny Hamlin's what I got written down. But we know Martin Truex has won two in a row. Truex has already got three wins on the season. 2019, it was pretty good. Yeah, I'm just going to go with four. So we're going to throw Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex Jr. Those are my four picks to win at Sonoma. Take a look at points. We've got 11 different winners so far. we got Truex with three wins, definitely locked in the playoffs. Kyle Larson with two wins. Alex Bowman with two wins. They're 100% locked in. Now, William Byron, Chase Elliott, Joey Logano, Ryan Blaney, Kyle Busch, Brad Chazlowski, Christopher Bell, Michael McDowell. Each have one win. There are 11 races left in the regular season. Well, we have more than five different winners in the next 11 races. We don't know. Right now, Denny Hamlin is sending 12 in points, plus 263. Kevin Harvick, plus 98. Now, these are plus over the cut line for the playoffs. Austin Dillon, plus 37. Tyler Reddick, plus 6. Chris Boucher sitting in 16th. Now, he's got a 55-point lead over Mike DiBedetto, Matty D, 
Ricky Stenhouse minus 62, Kurt Busch minus 83, Ryan Newman minus 87, Ch Ross Chastain minus 93, Bobo Wallace minus 95. Now, if the same rules apply that applied in 2015, anybody in the top 30 in points that has a win can make the playoffs. So, Dana Suarez, Brad Brees, Ricky Chase Briscoe, Eric Jones, Cole Custer, Eric Amarola, Corey LaJoy, Anthony Alfredo is your top 30 right now in points. If any of those drivers were making a win, Talladega, Nashville, Sonoma, they would be, they could be in the playoffs. We would end up with 11, 12, 13, 16 different winners in the regular season. I mean, Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, definitely can see them winning. Tyler Reddick, I can see him pulling a win off. We got Talladega, or so we have Daytona left before the playoffs. We got Nashville left. Some road courses, the Indy road course, which we haven't been on yet. A lot could happen for these playoffs. All right, that is the Toyota St. Martin 350 preview. Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick, Kenny Hamlin, Martin Truex Jr. are my three winners. Um, now I do want to just throw a couple of opinions out. Recently in the news, we've heard about Brett Jalowski talking about going to Roush Fenway as a partner and taking over driving like Tony Stewart did. Um, I like the idea. I really, truly like the idea. I like to see him get into the ownership part of it. He's on a truck team. Um, some of the drivers that drove for him in the truck series, Chase Briscoe, Tyler Reddick. So he knows how to pick drivers. Um, yeah, I can definitely see him getting into the ownership side of it. Um, Austin Center moving to the 21 car. We already knew that. Kurt Busch going to the second 2311 racing car. I'm great with that. I like Bubba Wallace. He, just like what Kyle Busch did with John Hunter Nemechek. You go get a veteran driver. You put him in your equipment. John Hunter is a veteran driver for the truck series. Where's my equipment? Where's my team at right now compared to where other people are? Last year, the only people who wanted Kyle's stuff was Kyle. Bring John Hunter in, he's got three wins. So I think it's going to make the whole team step up. So if you have Kurt Busch and Bubba Wallace, is the issue the equipment or is the issue the team or the driver? If one driver goes out and does so much better than the other driver, you know it's the driver. So I like that. I like that idea. Um, Color Racing having a cup car next year. I love it. General Motorsports talking about it. I just, just, I just love it. I just love everything that NASCAR is doing right now with the new car, the new venues, it freshening everything up. Um, that's why in the off season I've already talked about this. There's going to be a hundred day countdown between Homestead and Daytona. And I'm going to spotlight each car number. I'm going to spotlight each champion. A lot, a lot of different videos. There's at least, at least a minimum, minimum of 200 videos. I'm just kind of over the 73 year history of NASCAR where we're at. And then that way when we start Daytona, February 20th, 20, 2022, with the new car, the new season, we can say this is where we've been. This is where we are. This is where we're going. I um, can't wait. NASCAR is a good time to be a NASCAR fan. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. That was 50 Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports show and content.